What is your dream? Is your dream to become fluent in English? Is your dream to become an entrepreneur? Is your dream to become an author? If you've answered yes to any of those questions, I highly recommend that you watch the following featured guest on Insight. Insight means to have a deeper appreciation of something or someone. And for those of you that might be asking, what's the value or the purpose by watching these Insight videos? You, you have the opportunity to learn English in a new, fun, and innovative way. So sit back, relax, watch the entire video, and after you're done, make a comment below. Why? Because in the year of insight, you and I, we learn together. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very honored and pleased to introduce a friend and colleague for our insight. Sir, thank you so much for participating. Thank you. Please, what is your name? My name is Thamer Shaka. Thamer, where are you from? Saudi Arabia. Okay, so I noticed that you, what's your native language? Arabic. And I noticed that you speak English. So let me just ask you, how did you learn English? From school in the beginning, this was like a long time ago in, uh, when I was like any other students, part of the education system internally, locally in the kingdom. And then I left to the States and I spent there about seven years. Oh, where in the States? In Massachusetts, Boston, and then I moved, I moved to Florida, Boca Raton, which is very close to West Palm, by the way. I know you love West Palm. Yes, uh, yes. It's uh, one of the most beautiful places uh, over the world. I love it. Okay, so for some, what did you love or what did you like about the United States? Um, a lot of things. Um, the education system was amazing. Uh, this is one of the things that uh, uh, it changed my my perception about a lot of things, especially in my career. When it comes to business, when it comes to uh, to uh, you know the leadership or situation leadership, the theory that I love. And since then, I I just you know uh, realized that I I don't have to uh, to think about only the technical part mm -hmm. in business yes. as much as uh, the uh, the interpersonal skills that I need to develop. And this always since then this ha has been my always my what do you call it my uh, my advice to all my students all my colleagues to all the people that I train always think about how you can enhance and develop your interpersonal skills I love that I love uh, that as much as you you take care of you you know the technical bag uh, education bag exactly so it In goes both together interpersonal skills and understanding culture it's so great so okay we're going to talk more about your your business and all the great things you're doing Okay, so if someone wants to improve their English, what advice would you give them? Three tips or suggestions? Don't be scared at all. You have to uh, take the advantage of, um, of this nice language, which, which is very popular everywhere. English, you can, you, know, you can practice this during your traveling from time to time. You're watching movies, you're listening to music. Uh, it's not something that you uh, you will have, you will find a lot of obstacles doing it. So why don't you practice? Just uh, speak, talk, you'll do mistakes. Nothing wrong with that. And sometimes I, I realize that some people try to, you know, to manage the, the accent more than the grammar. And this is so funny, or, the, uh, or, or maybe more than having or memorizing new vocabulary. Yes, yes. So just go and take care of the, 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 the fundamentals first. I love don't, that. Don't, don't, don't try to copy paste the, uh, the, the, pronunciation, the pronunciation for the native speaker, because you're not native, basically. Just focus on the fundamental. And the same thing about Arabic. I, I keep telling the same advice, and I keep giving this advice for my, to, to my to non-Arabic uh, friends. When you, you learn Arabic, don't focus on how you pronounce things because we have a little bit different pronunciation. A yes, lot. yes, a, a lot, a lot, a lot. Different, you know, parts uh, of, of the uh, Arab world. But I love how you say, Thamar, to the point is, you know what? Who cares if you make a mistake? Because so many times people of are course. so afraid of speaking. Of good points, Just good go. points. And even, even me, even if I, you know, I started learning English uh, early in my life. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, I, I keep saying that... Uh, You'll you'll meet a lot of people who speak better than you. And they have you know more influence than you, right. and people that they can you know read better than you. It's all these skills you can develop it during time. Exactly, exactly. By time, it will be developed. But take care of this and don't be shy. Don't, don't, don't be, be shy. Yeah, 
uh, don't be scared don't and, be scared. and you will do it English is one of the nicest uh, what do you call it easiest language or right word. true <laughs> no good points good points all right sir so enough of the English let's okay, get more good. about you so you my understanding is you are a business owner and entrepreneur right. what made you do that talk about the business that you're in briefly. first time I started my own business was in the States by the way I was having uh, studying my uh, master's degree and by that time you know uh, who uh, those those friends and colleagues who study master they know that it's not full time job it's not full time thing that you do you will you still have plenty of time while you're studying you can do a lot of things so okay. I was thinking how I can practice what I'm learning in school and reality all right so uh, I went to you know a couple of friends I did some research and I found that some uh, some you know a couple of opportunities was were there in the market okay. and ready to be uh, you know uh, acquired okay so I decided to start my own to 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 buy one of these and uh, opportunity okay and it was an advertising company that was running up and running by the time for a British guy who, who decided to, to leave to go back to his country okay so I got it with good price and I started my, and this was my first real uh, you know my first real entrepreneur uh, journey like okay. how I'm, maybe some of the audience now will, will disagree with me because entrepreneurship they will differentiate between the entrepreneurship and they will and the what do you call it the the business, the business. opportunity. But that's okay. I mean, it's but your again, perspective. This, I, I always believe it's an academic definition. Right, right. Entrepreneur and business again, it's self thing that you're gonna do and you don't have income. This exactly, exactly. So, you take the risk to so do it. that was your first. Okay, so what what's your business now here in Jeddah? What do you what management do you, consulting? This is the uh, Maysan management consulting. I started this in 2014, okay. January 2014, and I'm always proud of this move. And then since then, I, I, you know, I got myself in different, uh, different uh, sectors from the management consulting perspective. Excellent. Uh, I, I was assigned to be board member in different companies. Uh, now I'm managing one of the biggest uh, well-known IT uh, management, hospital management system in the kingdom. Congratulations. And I am board member in this company. Uh, I'm board member in other two companies as well. Uh, okay. But, you know... Um, the beauty of business is when you get yourself involved in, in, in something, it will take you into, you will dig, you know, you will dig deep into it right. and you just fly with it and you always think about how you can make this opportunity or this challenge, uh, you know, how you can kill this challenge and make the, get the best out of this opportunity and I make like it fly. That. So if there are people that are listening right now and, and, and if they have a desire or aspiration to be an entrepreneur, whatever industry, whatever sector it is, what what advice or suggestions would you give to them? You have to understand the market very well. You have to believe in yourself and you have to do something that you love because this is a little bit so, uh, little bit, I, I don't know how to say it. Let me Necessary? It's no, it's so funny sometimes how entrepreneurs, some entrepreneurs I, 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 I'm meeting from time to time mm -hmm. and they're coming to my office asking for investor to come and when the investor comes step into this room and ask uh, the entrepreneur, are you willing to do this by yourself? The answer, if the answer is no, I'm just giving you the idea and I have, I'm going to have my full-time job. Right. The, inter the, the investor will run away and say, you know what? I'm not investing the idea. The idea is there everywhere. I'm investing in you. Mm. I'm investing in you have to be the, ch the champion of this. So this is my advice. Going back to your question, William, you have to be the champion for idea. You have to live your idea. You have to believe in it in order for, you know, to get the attraction from the entire world. Exactly. From the investors, from the people that they work with you, for you. Uh, your colleagues, even your competitors will respect you. Right. And this is what I keep saying to my students in school. Please always think about the competition as, as a benefit. You will learn from this and you will, you know, sometimes you owe your competitor a lot because he's pushing you to the edge to make a lot of things and right. he's showing you the direction without even him or, or the, I mean, the company or right. the competitor noticing that. I like what you said. I mean, what I would summarize what you say is do what you love and under, not only do what you love, but be the best champion you can be, know your competition. Wise, wise advice. Now, you are successful, sir, as a management consultant. However, you're what I think, you, I, I see these two things in front of you. What are these two things? Those are my most beloved things that I just got recently. Uh, uh, my new two published. Uh, so wait, wait, wait! You're an author as well. Oh, I forgot to mention that. No, please let I, us I, know. I didn't mention that. This is what this is the, the the best part of my life. Okay, okay. I am an author for bestseller book in, in the market, uh, for ten books. Ten. Ten. The the last one was in first time I was writing about, 
for the first time I wrote about uh, leadership. Leadership, yeah. okay. And uh, this is one of the most, you know, uh, moving book in my chain. Is this right, chain? Yeah, you're okay. correct. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, new leaders and about how we can give a tip. I think, you, you remember when we met last time, it was like a year and a half ago? Yes. I was talking about how I'm very, you know, excited about this book that I was Yes, that's that the book. Yeah, I was, by that time I was working on this. All right, but let's take a step back. Let's take a step back. Your passion for writing, your, uh, for hard. being an author, how did that emerge? How did that come into being? Well, since I was 15, I was, I, I was you know, it's my, one of my hobbies, just to write. And I wrote about my story with my teacher, my teacher in school, okay. the one who realized that I have very, uh, you know, I'm talented in this. And he just took uh, uh, my paper in front of the, uh, among all the students in this class. And he said, who wrote this? He was asking. Mm -hmm. He was asking because we, he just collected all the papers. And he said, me. He said, this is one of the best introductions that I've ever read. I and it's that. one, and you're going to have, uh, a f you're going to have a bright future in this career, in this field. And it was like, you know, I was studying science, it's like all science, I, I never study something related to this field. Uh, Excellent. Um, and, and he was true, this became, you know, from... So writing, Thamar, writing for you is, if you could, if you could summarize it in, or put it in your own, it's like writing for you is what? It's breathing. It's like, uh, you, uh, without any exa exaggeration, uh, William, when I'm in pain or I feel like I'm not in good mood, if I write something and I got it out and it's, you know, I feel, when I feel like I did it right, okay. it will change my mood completely. It's like going to the gym for for right. it's like going uh, doing something. It, it increased my my happiness big time, and I don't know. Uh, and this is always this is why I keep hearing from all the people that write. They write because they believe in. Uh, they have a mission. They want to encourage the the community. They want to build better future for around them. They have it's and it's it's a, it's a stage that you can use to influence others. I like that. And I have and I have. I'm assuming that I have good knowledge that I can share with people. I have a lot of things to tell to tell uh, my readers and that's why Alhamdulillah I have good readers uh, base uh, for the couple of Got it. Years. I like the fact that you say writing is breathing and I think it's so important whether a person is writing in English or Arabic, whatever it is, the ability to express themselves writing is beautiful. Exactly. Expressing yourself. Right? Now you've written over 10 books. Here's a question for you. What's your next book? In your mind, if you want to, you know, share. after you finish your book, you feel like, oh, you want to relax. You want to, you know, breathe. Like you finish your exercise and you want to take it easy. Okay. I finished just two books, so I don't. You're I gonna don't, relax. I don't want to think. I wanted to relax. I now I'm taking care of the events. Like now it's time to celebrate. Right. So I'm preparing for good event because this, uh, this, uh, this is one of the, the that the, the, the advice that I give to all the authors, uh, young authors that I'm, I, I, I'm meeting from time to time. It's not only about publishing your book. You have to take care of this book. You have to market well. You you have to market for this book very well. You have to talk about. It. You have to be proud of this. Don't publish a book and then just forget it or forget about it. I mean, mm -hmm. you have to keep uh, you know uh, talking about this book, uh, making different uh, events, uh, making book signing, uh, taking parts of of this book and publish it in the session the, on the social media so people can you know kind of market for this. A lot of things you can do. So this is now what I'm doing. Uh, it's not one, it's two books at the same time. They came in October and November. Next one is about leadership and management and business. And this was, and this was my first time writing about uh, in this field. Uh, and I, I was happy because I was writing it not in an academic way as much as in an uh, inter entertained way. I, I want you to read this book while you're in, laying down in the beach relaxing. or before you, relaxing before you sleep. Right. And it was designed to read a tip every day. It's like one page tip, it's quick. And it goes, it match exactly the new generation that we're having today. Yeah. Don't have time to read. Okay, fine. Don't have time to read. I don't have time to, to write as well. And I think that's so very I'm strategic. Give you something. No, I think that's strategic in what you're doing in terms of writing to your audience, but also knowing who your audience is with the okay. influence exactly. of technology. It's very important. It's very it's important, really important to your audience. It's very important to, you know, uh, to believe that you can add something. You know, William, when sometimes I get these questions, why you you write? You still in the Arab world, it's always the stereotype that people doesn't don't treat. So why are you writing for who? And I, my answer is simple. One one message. One I mean one message that I receive from one uh, reader, and it says, uh, "I change you change my life, uh, or you uh, give me the hope, or I can see now my life is better because one of your book, or one of your article. This is enough for me. 
And I love the fact that you address the point in terms of stereotypes because I think that's so important. That's what I think the value of insight is. I have two more questions for you. I know you're very busy. When I say the word, I'm going to say a word and I just want you to give me your thoughts. Insight. What does insight mean for you? Following your dream. Make sure that you live for something, not just only to, to eat and drink and sleep. You have to have something bigger than that. Uh, okay, uh, a lot of people doing business and they are successful in business, making money fine. We all enjoy money, of course. We enjoy nice cars. We enjoy nice lifestyle. But again, in the, on the other hand, you need to have a dream. Um, you need to have... Uh, I just was... I, I, I was This morning, I was listening to John Maxwell. He was talking about the most important five things that you do in 2019 to make your life nice. And John Maxwell is one of my favorite authors, one of my favorite coach. Um, um, he was my favorite, you know, uh, professor in, uh, in 2006 in Florida, and he, he has more than 85 books, bestseller over the world. He's a mentor, to be honest. He was talking about this, and number one is how to add value to people. Say that again. Please. How to add value to people. And you know, you cannot add value to people if you don't value them, so you need to value them first. You need to believe in them so you can add value to them. So I love people. I, need, I know, I, 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 I always believe there is good value in everyone. Mm. So how you can be, you know, this guy that you can't, take the, what do you call it, the, uh, uh, you can just try to get it from, from where it's, uh, n- the, the intuition, the feeling, the, the, the gut, you can find the real value in them, sometimes yes. it's hidden, sometimes it's hidden, yes, so the you, hidden value, the so hidden talent, and hidden talent, for example, like yes. a teacher that discovered my talent when I was 15, right, if he didn't by that time, how should, how would I know, exactly, if the parents didn't take care of their kids, how do you know? how they, the kids will know. And sometimes we have a lot of ta- talent that it will, that's why John Maxwell has a nice book called Talent is Never Enough, because you have to develop, you have to discover it, develop it, and keep going. So my, if you ask me, uh, you have to have a dream, you have to add value to people, you have to, be, before adding value to people, you have to add value to yourself so you can add value to people. What I'm gonna say here, <laughs> what I'm gonna say here if I don't have something to say. I think that is brilliant when you're talking about, I love the fact that personally that you said, adding value to yourself first and adding value to others right. talking about the relationship i mean i was thinking about like we learn together so it's valuing others by valuing yourself right. I lo- oh. so the entrepreneur the business leader the author following his passion the last question that i have for you now that this is over how do you feel well, it's not over, and it's like the journey is going. I mean, this is what I keep saying every day: leadership, business, like, uh, writing, uh, being an author. It's not a destination that, gonna, uh, that I'm going to reach one day. It's a journey. So the, this journey, it's taking every day. So okay, I'm happy now. I'm satisfied. I get fin- I finished my article. I finished my first book. I'm su- I, su- I, I, I succeeded this year in meeting the target in my business. But then what? So the journey is get there. That's why I keep saying. Take it easy, enjoy your time, enjoy your life. We have very short life. It's yes. only, if we take the full package, it's gonna be 67, 70. Maybe in the States more than that. Or maybe in Japan, <laughs> Japan now it's reaching 95. Right, right. Because right. the medical is getting better. Right. But 65 is fine for me, I'm fine. But until to, it's a short journey, by the way. So enjoy your life, take it easy, make sure that you're adding real value. Don't be fake, you have to be always, always true. And in order for you to be true, true, like two person, true knowledge, true character, you have to make sure that you are not you are gaining the trust of your people by adding something in something true, basically. Something I don't true, know authentic. To... I like the word authentic. A uh, nice, authentic. On, authentic. Like authentic. Thamar Shakur, the author, the entrepreneur, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for very being much. part of Insight.